Looking for a small, lightweight fifth wheel toy hauler that not only fits the 4 c side-by-sides, but has an amazing kitchen? <laughs> I got a solution for you. Welcome to HBRV Lifestyle, and I am the Honey Badger. This is the 2024 Genesis Supreme RV Ragin' 3317, and it took me six takes to actually get that right. Now, as you guys know, I don't do a lot of editing. This is a very raw footage as I'm talking. So this is a 5,500 watt generator. It has an auto level system, 10 gallon hot water heater, outside shower. Now it does have an inverter in it. So an inverter, for those of you that don't know, converts battery power to one of your outlets or two of your outlets inside the fifth wheel or the RV. So you can run like a blender or you can run a TV without turning on the generator. It has a 40 gallon fuel station. So a 40 gallon fuel tank that not only is used for filling up your toys, but also feeds fuel into the generator. You have a backup camera on this particular one, a big power awning and any more. Now this particular one has two porch lights, but any more, all of your lighting outside the majority of units are going to be in the awning strip. Now this, area right here. I'm going to just open this up real quick. This is where your fuses, your breaker panel is. It's not inside like you normally see. It's right here. And then you have your central vacuum cleaning system uh, where you can put your bags. So you can empty out your, your central vac. In fact, right there is the extensions for it. There's your inverter. You got a light for the inside and bang. Now it does come with two five gallon propane tanks but you can always upgrade those and this is some of the from some of the people's favorite thing sorry here is the outside television not an outside kitchen most people go oh, is that an outside kitchen i'm like no <laughs> it's not it does have solar on board and we're going to close the door here because i lit it up and lots of glare today outside all right, so you have your queen size bunk bed. You have your full booth dinette. If you can see, I don't know if you can see it or not, but over here you have the cables that turn it into a patio. It just doesn't have the enclosure. The enclosure can be purchased after market. It's not a big deal. Uh, a lot of times we don't order them with the enclosure because it prevents the four seats side by sides from fitting in smoothly. So I'll give you an example. You got a four seat Can Am X3. If you have the patio enclosure here, it takes away about five to six inches of cargo. Now, for those of you that have tried to put a bigger side by side inside a toy hauler, five or six inches can make a big difference. And I won't go any further than that because I'm just going to step myself in the doo doo on that one. Anyway. I love the floor plan, not just because of the fact that it's a nice toy hauler and it's a well-built toy hauler, but to me, if you're going to go out to the mountains, the beach, you can use this as a regular camper. There's plenty of storage, plenty of seating with your recliners, TV, radio system, and just look how nice these cabinets are. They're not super deep because of the side-by-sides, but they're deeper than Attitude and they're deeper than the Forest River products. So you can actually fit medium-sized bowls and plates inside a lot of these cabinets. Now, the other thing I wanna point out as I keep opening up cabinets is that it has a propane electric refrigerator. Again, my favorite dry camping refrigerator. I'm not saying you can't go 12 volt. I'm not saying you can't go residential. This just happens to be my professional opinion. This is the best fridge for the desert. Now, I'm five foot 11 with my boots on, and that's tall, but that's a heck of a nice little cabinet to have. Make sure you get a step stool for that one. And then you got your drawer underneath the fridge, so there's no waste of space. Great prep area for a toy hauler. Not for a camper, for a toy hauler, that's pretty good counter space. You lose a lot because everybody wants to put in these big old sand cars in here, right? We'll open up these drawers real quick. 
And pardon me, I'm sniffling a lot today, guys. You got your three burner stove. This is almost standard on the bigger units. That's a decent size oven, not great. Enough for a pizza. But I like the fact that we have more storage. Look at that. Ladies, 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 you know what I'm talking about when I talk about storage in a toy hauler. It's almost impossible to find them. That's why a lot of guys, ooh, we turned on some pretty lights. Most of us guys, most of us men, we could care less. Give us a tent, give us a cargo trailer, and we're off and running. Got the big microwave. And I'm going to open that up in just a second. Good pantry space. That's actually really good pantry space. That's good for like small pots or pans. Just got to turn the pans the other way and stick them tall wise in there. Ooh, convection microwave. Nice. Now, I know you can't see it from here, but on the top, it's lipped. So it's lipped underneath there so you could put more stuff on top. Probably helmets and riding gear type stuff. All right, there's your central vacuum. And let's move into the bathroom. Now, the bathroom to me, because it's a smaller toy hauler, feels cramped. But nice use of space, not bad. Good linen closet areas. Not bad. Again, not the best, but not horrible. I do, I'm going to, me personally, I'm going to feel claustrophobic around the toilet. But that's just me. It does seem taller, the shower. I mean, again, I'm 5'11 with my boots on, and I, my head, you want to see, whoops, turn around, sticks above the shower. Okay, medicine cabinet. Now, this is something we I talked about with a customer that bought one of these, a 2023 version. It's the same sink in the 2023. And him and I had a great conversation. He said that's the only complaint he has is trying to wash his face. Water splashes everywhere because it's such a small sink. But again, small little things that people do. This is not important to them. The toys, the quality of the build, that's more important and affordability. Pretty cool. Okay, so we opened up all the storage in the bathroom. Now, boy, I don't know how close cabinets. The bedroom. So your second AC is in the bedroom. You have your television. And you have all this cabinetry and clothing storage with a walk-around RV King. RV King is shorter. Now, before I show you the closets, I want to show you, because I showed you guys this on a different unit, if you if you were a fan of the channel. Where the slide-out button sucks for every one of these. Let me show you what happens, okay? So we're gonna put the slide out in. So see, I have to reach in to put the slide out in and out. So this is my only real complaint about this floor plan in the bedroom, is you have to put the slide out out to get to the bed. So you have to reach around here turn on your power and put out your slide. Now for a lot of people, they're like, I'll do that. That's not a big deal for that kitchen and for that living space. I'll put up with that. And shoot, I would too. But still, I want you to have all of the information, right? Okay, let's quickly just open up all the cabinets. Normally I do this in a shorter video, but you guys, thank you for the pull, by the way, every one of you have given me great feedback. I'm doing now nine to 10 minute videos because you guys said you guys like it when it's a little more, um, not as speedy, a little slower. God, great drawers. Good Lord. Yeah, that's good, man. Good drawer space, good, good clothing storage in here. Okay, now. If you want to see another toy hauler walkthrough similar to this one, look in the top right-hand corner. And I've got a little shorter video on a different toy hauler. 